Good morning, my name is Dan Valentine, and on behalf of the Board of Directors of Congregation Beth Chaim, we welcome you to worship at our service. Before we begin, please note the exit doors are on either side of the rear of the sanctuary and on both sides of the balcony. In case of an emergency, please follow the instructions of those on the Bema. As we prepare for Shabbat worship, we ask that you turn off all electric devices. In addition, there is no photography or videotaping during services. Please remember that applause is not appropriate at any time during the service. Large print prayer books and hearing enhancement devices are available. Simply ask any usher or board member if you wish to use either. Thank you for joining us in prayer this morning and mazel tov to our B'nai Mitzvot. Shabbat shalom, everyone. My name is Rabbi Brian Beal. I am joined by Rabbi Adina Blum, Cantor Stuart Binder. You've already met Dan. On behalf of our entire leadership and our clergy and staff, Bukhim Habayim B'Shem Adonai, blessed are all who come in the name of God on this glorious Shabbat morning. Glorious because we're about to join together as one community in prayer to thank God for our blessings that we share in life. A glorious morning because a young man and a young woman are about to publicly take their place among our people, having transformed to the age of majority and to become leaders of our people going forward. For those of you who have never used the prayer book we're about to share, it's a little different than most prayer books. So if you've never used it before, if you would please turn to pages 110 and 111. In the beginning of the service, we will be jumping around a little bit. Carly and Carson will call page numbers that also appear up on the screen in front of you. But I want you to understand that the prayer book works as a series of two-page spreads. In the top right is always the Hebrew blessing that we're praying. Underneath is a translation. And on the left page are two creative prayers on the same theme as the Hebrew. As we make our way through the service, Carly and Carson will choose either the Hebrew or the translation or one of the other two. When we're finished praying one of those four, that's the cue to automatically change the page. They'll choose one of the four and we'll make our way through the service. Again, if you get lost, just look at the screen. screen. Most importantly though, please join with us, read with us, sing with us, clap with us. This is our moment to come together as a community in celebration, and it is an honor and pleasure to have you with us. In a few moments, we'll begin on page 67, but first. A few words of blessing. We are thrilled to have our friends and relatives share this important day with you, Carly. Special thanks to aunts, uncles, cousins, and friends who journeyed from Costa Rica, the West Coast, Arizona, and Texas. We're honored my childhood best friend came from Chicago, as well as your dear friend who flew here alone from Italy to be part of our celebration. Thank you to everyone for joining us. We also appreciate the help and support of our amazing clergy at Beth Haim who are always here for us. Thank you. Our family is so happy to share this occasion with Carson and his family, and we wish you all a mazel tov. Our children go back to their early preschool years, and the cliche holds. It really does seem like just yesterday. Carly, you don't remember, but we were on this Bema together 12 years ago for your naming. It was an emotional celebration of you overcoming the early hurdles that you faced. You required multiple surgeries and specialized medical care. You cried constantly. You wouldn't take a bottle. You wouldn't go to anyone but dad or I. You didn't roll over or sit on time, and you were chronically underweight. I worried, and Grandma Lynn predicted you would stop wailing as soon as you could move around and experience the world on your own terms. Mom, you were right. <laughs> Carly, after finally sitting up, you were immediately off and crawling with a huge smile on your face. You became the effervescent person we all know. 
relishing new experiences with incredible curiosity and energy. You became a happy, active, creative, fun kid bursting with energy. And by the way, I never worry about you getting enough calories anymore. <laughs> Carly, we want you to look at today not as the end, but as the beginning of your Jewish learning. Now you build your own Jewish identity by continuing your formal studies, participating in community service projects to make the world a better place, or traveling to meet our family in Israel. Even though today you are considered a Jewish adult, we are here to guide you and to love you always. We hope you are always surrounded by love. You've been a kind, loyal, accepting, and fun-loving friend to all. May you always enjoy the wonderful bonds you have built with friends here today and those you have yet to meet. Keep your relationship strong with your best friend, Ben. The two of you have a tight relationship made unique by enjoying activities and experiences that you shared while growing up together in our hectic household. You share a private language and so many childhood memories. Remember that Ben adores you and he always has your back. Carly, you love new experiences and trying new things. We hope you continue enjoying every new adventure and you keep learning. Your academic progress has amazed us. We know you'll find your calling as you proceed through your studies and you will be fabulous at whatever you do. Our wish for you is that you continue to find the joy in each new experience. You've done that this year at a different school, making new friends and playing sports you never tried. We love you and have enjoyed watching you grow into a beautiful, strong, confident young woman. Dad and I can't wait for the next 13 years of this adventure. We love you, Carly. Baruch Ata Adonai Elohini Melahalam Asher Kishanu Mitsuata Vitsivani Lahita Tev Batsitsi. Amen. First, we want to thank the rabbis and Cantor for all of their hard work in preparing Carson for his bar mitzvah. We also want to wish the Tom's Ford family a hearty mazel tov to Carly. Carly, you have also made your family very proud. Carson, your father and I are so proud of you, not only today, but the man you are becoming. <laughs> You've made us proud for being. <laughs> yes. A caring, giving, sensitive, smart, witty, and athletic boy. <laughs> Throughout the last 13 years of your life, you truly are an all around person with so many wonderful attributes. Since basketball is a big part of your life, I thought it appropriate to compare some characteristics of the greatest professional basketball players to those qualities you possess. We know not everyone can be 6'8", not everyone can slam dunk, but we know that you can consciously choose to work to be the best version of him or herself. For instance, great players are great teammates. They are supportive, high energy, and make their enthusiasm contagious. You have participated in soccer, baseball, lacrosse, and have played on three basketball teams over the years. Watching you on the field or the court is the highlight of our days. I also see and hear your team-like enthusiasm off the court when you play Xbox with your friends. Your team spirit is also shown during your summer spent at Camp Green Lane. And a speech would not be a speech from me unless camp was mentioned, so there you have it. <laughs> Great players don't wait for the workout or practice or game to start. They prepare for it both mentally and physically. In addition to how this plays out in sports, you have worked extremely hard at your prayers and to our portion in preparation for becoming a bar mitzvah. I never doubted for one second of how great you will do today. I know I nagged you often and asked if you had practiced, but we know you got this. After all, it is all about practice. Great players give back to their program and are humble and grateful. You were nominated and appointed by the administration to serve on community middle school stakeholders team. You volunteer your time with the Boys Charity Group, which is dedicated to community improvement by enhancing the lives of others through volunteer service. Lastly, you chose 
to give back by raising money to an organization called Good Sports for your Bar Mitzvah project, which will provide new uniforms, equipment, and sneakers to those in need. For, the, for this, we are proud. Lastly, great players inspire everyone around them. Carson, you are a true inspiration and have proven that you are a true asset to any team, school, group of friends, or family. It amazes me how much you have accomplished in only 13 years of life. May you continue to inspire all around you. Not only are we proud of you, but your sister, grandparents, aunts, uncles, cousins, friends, and friends who are family, you know who you are. The love that surrounds this room is immeasurable. Carson, so before I start to cry, <laughs> I will leave you with this. May you continue to be a supportive team player, be prepared, be grateful, be generous, and be an inspiration, and you will go as far as you want and do whatever it is that you are determined to do. We love you. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Haolam Asher Kishanu Mitzvotav V'tzivanu Lehitatev Batsitzi And now we take a moment to thank God for giving us life, for establishing us, and for enabling us to reach this joyous moment. Baruch Ata Adonai Our service continues on page 67 in your prayer books. synagogue be wide enough to receive all who hunger for love, all who are lonely for friendship. May it welcome all who have cares to unburden, thanks to express, hopes to nurture. May the door of this synagogue be narrow enough to shut out pettiness and pride, envy and enmity. May its threshold be no stumbling block to too young or straying feet. May it be too high to admit complacency, selfishness and harshness. May this synagogue be, for all who enter, the doorway to a richer and more meaningful life. Moda ani lefaneha, mele hai vikayam, shehe hazarta bi nishmati behemla, raba emunateha. We continue on page 75. May the one whose spirit is with us in every righteous deed be with all who work for the good of humanity and bear the burdens of others who give bread to the hungry who clothe the naked and take the friendless into their homes. May the work of their hands endure, and may the seed they sow bring abundant harvest. Please turn to page 80. Baruch Ata Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Asher Natan Lesevi Vina, Lehahin Ben Yonu Ven Laila. Baruch Ata Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Pokeach Ivrim. Amen. Baruch Ata Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Matir Asurim. Amen. Baruch Ata Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Zokef Kefufim. Amen. Baruch Ata Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Rokaha Eretz Al Hamayim. Amen. Baruch Ata Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Hamehi mitzade gaver. Amen. Baruch ata Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, malpi sharumim. Amen. Baruch ata Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, hanotein laif koach. Amen. Baruch ata Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, hamevir shename nai unuma meafapai. Amen. Baruch ata Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, shasani 
That's Elam Elohim. Amen. Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam Shasani Bein Horin. Amen. Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam Shasani Yisrael. Amen. Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam Or Yisrael Bigura. Amen. Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam Oter Yisrael Bifarach. Amen. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech ha'olam, asher kishanu mitzotav, v'tivani la'asot v'yivrei Torah. Amen. Together in English, blessed are you, Adonai our God, sovereign of the universe, who hallows us with mitzvot, commanding us to engage with words of Torah. Page 88. Ilu devarim she ain lahem shior she adam ochel pirotehem ba olam haze ve hakaren kayemet lo le olam haba ve elu hain kibud avaim ugilu hasadim ve hash kama ve hamidra shahari ve arvi ve ha nasa orhim ubi kor holim ve ha nasa kala uvayat hame ve iun tefila. Vehavaat Shalom Bain Adam Lahavero Vitalmu Torah Kaneged Kula. There are eight degrees in the giving of Sadaka, each one higher than the one before. To give grudgingly, reluctantly, or with regret, to give less than one should, but with grace, to give what one should, but only after being asked, to give before one is asked, to give without knowing who will receive it, although the Recipient knows the identity of the giver. To give without making known one's identity. To give so that neither nor neither giver nor receiver knows the identity of the other. To help another to become self-supporting by means of a gift alone or by finding employment for the one in need. We continue on page 100. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, El Bekod Show, Hallelujah, Birkia Uzo, Hallelujah, Big Vurotab, Hallelujah, Kero Good Law, Kol Han Shamate, Hallelujah, 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 Kol Han Shamate, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Hallelujah, betek a shofar, hallelujah, benevel bechinor, hallelujah, betofu machol, hallelujah, beminim vehogav, kol han shamate, hallelujah, 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 kol han shamate, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, bet silsele shama, hallelujah, bet silsele trua, kolan shamate, hallelujah, 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 kolan shamate, hallelujah, 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 kolan shamate, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We continue responsively on page 106 and 107. What makes a fire burn is space between the logs, a breathing space. Too much of a good thing, too many logs, packed in too tight, can douse the flames almost as surely as a pail of water would. So building fires requires attention to the spaces in between as much as to the wood. When we are able to build open spaces in the same way we have learned to pile on the logs, then we can come to see how it is fuel and an absence of fuel together that make the fire possible. We only need to lay a log lightly from time to time. A fire grows simply because the space is there, with openings in which the flame that knows just how it wants to burn can find its way. Please rise. Yit kadal vit kadash shemir haba. Al madi vrach hirute viam lich malchute. Becha ye chonu viam echon. Ubcha ye de chol beit Yisrael. Bagala, bagala. Uvizman kari vimru. Amen. 
Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam Yoser Or Uvore Hoshe Ose Shalom Uvore Et Hako Hameir La Aretz Ela Darim Ale Aleya Brachami Uftu Vo Me Mehadesh Bechol Yom Tamid Mehase Breshi Marabu Mehasita Adonai Kulam Bechachma Asita Mala Haaretz Kinya Necha Tit Barach Adonai Eloheinu Al Shevach Maase Yadecha Veal More Or Sheasita Yefaruha Sela Or Hadash Al Sion Tair Veniske Kulanu Mechera Leoro Baruch Ata Adonai Yoser Hamaru. We continue responsibly on page 113. Once or twice in a life, once or twice in a lifetime, a man or a woman may choose a radical leaving, having heard Lech Laha go forth. God disturbs us toward our destiny by hard events and by freedom's now urgent voice, which explode and confirm who we are. We don't like leaving, but God loves becoming. Baruch Ata Adonai. Habocher Beamo Yisrael Biahava. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad. Baruch Shem Kevod Malchuto Leolam Vaed. Please be seated. Ve'avta et Adonai Elohecha bechol levavcha uvechol nafshecha uvechol meodecha ve'ayu hadvarim ha'ele asher anochi mitzavecha hayom alevavecha v'shinan tam levanecha v'dibarta bam v'shivtecha b'veitecha uvlechtecha v'aderech. Ufshoch becha, ufku mecha, ukshartam neot al yadecha, vehayul etotafot bein einecha, uchtavtam al mezuzot beitecha, uvisharecha, leman tiskeru vasitem et komitvotai, vitem kedoshim lenoechem, ani adonai lohechem. Asher hod seit yadchem, me'eretz mitrayim, liot lachem d'Elohim, ani Adonai Elohechem. We read together in English. You shall love Adonai your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your might. Take to heart these instructions with which I charge you this day. Impress them upon your children, Recite them when you stay at home and when you are away, when you lie down and when you get up. Bind them as a sign on your hand and let them serve as a symbol on your forehead. Inscribe them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates. Thus you shall remember to observe all my commandments and to be holy to your God. I am Adonai your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt to be your God. I am Adonai your God. We read responsibly on page 121. The eternal truth is that you alone are God and there is none else. 
May the righteous of all nations rejoice in your love and exult in your justice. Let them bear their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Let nation not lift up sword against nation, nor learn war any more. You shall not hate your brother or your sister in your heart. The stranger that sojourns with you shall be accepted as your equal, for you were strangers in the land of Egypt. Why do you crush my people and oppress the poor, ask, ask God? We know that the Eternal One defends the poor and upholds the rights of the needy. Praise to God Most High. Blessed is God and deserving of blessing. Adonai, open up my lips that my mouth may declare your praise. Baruch Ata Adonai, Eloheinu, Elohe Avotinu, Vimotenu, Elohe Abraham, Elohe Yitzhak, Elohe Yaakov. Elohe Sarah, Elohe Rivka, Elohe Rahel, Elohe Leah, Ha El Hagado, Hagi Boy Vahanora, El El Yon, Domel Hasadim Tobim, Bekone Hako, Bezoher Haste Avopi Maho, Umevi Gela, Leave Nevenehem, Aman Shmobi Ahava, Melech Ozer, Umoshia Umagin, Barokata Adonai, Bagain Abraham, Vezrat Sarah. Atagi bor leola maranai, mehaye hako atarav leoshia, mashiv harua, umarid hagashem, mehokel hayim behesed, mehaye hako be rahamim rabim, so meh no flim verofe holy, umatir asurim, umekayem emunato, li shene afar, mi hamo haba il giburo, umi do melach. Melech me mead, umakaye, umas mea yeshua, bene emana tal hahayo hako, barokata adonai, mehaye hako. You are the open door that beckons me in, peeking around the door frame. I begin to enter into your glory. You move me forward, O eternal, to step beyond self made boundaries. Lift my foot over the threshold that I might abide with you. In the house of the eternal, I found my questions waiting to be posed. They filled me with wonder. Sit with me, eternal teacher. Encourage my speaking as I fill my hours with your mitzvot, so shall I be filled. 
Send me through your door, stretching up to honor your name, sharing out this wonder, enriching myself in the giving. Nekadesh et shimcha ba'olam, keshem shemati shimo tobish me marom, kakatu valiad neviecha, vekaraz ezebe amar, kadosh, 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 adonai tsevaot, melochon haretz kevodo. Adir, adirenu Adonai, Adonenu Madir, Shimcha Bechol Haaretz, Baruch Kevod Adonai, Mimkomo. Echad hu Eloheinu, hu Avinu Malkeinu, hu Moshienu vehu Yashmienu, Berachamav leinei kol chai, Ani Adonai Eloheichem, Im loch Adonai leolam, Elohai yiktzion, Ledor vador, Alleluia. Ledor vador nagid god lecha, Ulenetzach netzachim kedushat chana kdish, Veshivchacha Eloheinu mipinu lo yamush leolam vaed. Baruch ata Adonai, ha'el ha'kadosh. Please be seated. Veshamru v'nei Yisrael et ha'shabat. La so at Hasha Bat Lador Tambari Olam. Veshamru Vene Israel et Hasha Bat. La so at Hasha Bat Lador Tambari Olam. Veni Uvein Vene Israel, Od he lay alum, Od he lay alum. Veshamru Vene Israel. Hashabbat, la sot et hashabbat, le dorot hamrit olam. Ki sheshe yamim asa Adonai, et hashamayim, et hashamayim, le haaret. Veshamru b'nei Yisrael, et hashabbat, la sot et hashabbat, le dorot hamrit olam. Vayom Hashvi, Shabbat Vayina Fash, Shabbat Vayina Fash, Shabbat Vayina Fash. Veshamru v'nei Yisrael et ha-Shabbat, Tazot et ha-Shabbat, Ledorot ha-Mrit Olam. We are a people in whom the past endures, in whom the present is inconceivable without moments gone by. The exodus lasted a moment, a moment enduring forever. What happened once upon a time happens all the time. Eloheinu veloi avoteinu vimoteinu retsevim nuchateinu kadsheinu vimitvotecha vetein chelkeinu betoratecha sabeinu mitovecha vesamcheinu bishuatecha Vetaheli beinu, vetaheli beinu, vetaheli beinu leobdecha bemet. Vetaheli beinu, vetaheli beinu, vetaheli beinu leobdecha bemet. Vehanechileinu Adonai Eloheinu, vehava uvratzon Shabbat Kodshecha. Vyanuch uvah Yisrael mekadeshe shemecha. Baruch Adonai, Mekadesh HaShabbat. Our God and God of our ancestors, be pleased with our rest. Sanctify us with your mitzvot and grant us a share in your Torah. Satisfy us with your goodness and gladden us with your salvation. Purify our hearts to serve you in, the, in truth. In your gracious love, Adonai our God, grant us your holy Shabbat as a heritage. May Israel, who sanctifies your name, rest on Shabbat. Blessed are you, Adonai, who sanctifies Shabbat. We continue on page 137. 
Ever-present one, may we, your people Israel, be worthy in our deeds and our prayer. Wherever we live, wherever we seek you, in this land, in Zion restored, in all lands, you are our God, whom alone we serve in reverence. Baruch Ata Adonai, Sha'udcha Levadcha, Bira Naavod. Please turn to page one thirty-nine. For the expanding grandeur of creation, worlds known and unknown, galaxies beyond galaxies, filling us with awe and challenging our imaginations. Modim anach nulach. For this fragile planet, its times and tides, sunsets and seasons. Modim anach nulach. For the joy of human life, its wonders and surprises, its hopes and achievements. Modim anach nulach. For human community, our common past and future hope. For our oneness transcending all separation, our capacity to work for peace and justice in the midst of hostility and oppression. Modim anach nulach. For high hopes and noble causes, for faith without fanaticism, for understanding of views not shared. Modim anach nulach. For all who have labored and suffered for a fairer world, who have lived so that others might live in dignity and freedom. Modim anach nulach. For human liberties and sac and sa sacred rights, for opportunities to change and grow, to affirm and choose. Modim anach nulach. We pray that we may live not by our fears, but by our hopes, not by our words, but by our deeds. Blessed are you, Adonai. Your name is goodness, and you are worthy of thanksgiving. Baruch Ata Adonai. Hatov Shimcha Ochanae Lehodot. Sim, sim, sim shalom, sim shalom tova uvracha, sim, sim, sim shalom tova uvracha. Chain vechesed veracha mimalenu veal kol Yisrael amecha. Parchenu yotzreinu kulanu kechad behor panecha. Sim, sim, sim shalom, sim shalom tova uvracha. Sim, sim, sim shalom tova uvracha. Ki veor panecha natata lanu Adonai Eloheinu. Torah chayim ve'avad chesed utzdaka uvracha v'rachamim v'chayim v'shalom. Sim, 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 shalom. Sim, shalom, tova uvracha. Sim, 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 shalom, tova uvracha. Veto benecha levarech et amcha Yisrael, Becholet uvchol shabi shlomecha, Baruch ata Adonai hamvarech et amo Yisrael bashalom. Sim, 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 shalom, Sim, shalom, tova uvracha, Sim, 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 shalom, we now take a few moments for silent prayer.
The following reading is not in your prayer book. May my life be one link in a chain of goodness. As I say the prayers of my ancestors, help me to recall their devotion and faithfulness, their joy and suffering, which are in every word. Holiness is my heritage. May I be worthy of it. May our tradition live in me and pass from me to generations I shall never know, enriched by the truth that I have found and the good deeds I have done. So may I fulfill my task on earth and receive my blessing. Friends, our service continues with Seder Kriyata Torah, the service for the reading of the Torah on page 244. We invite to the Bima for the honor of passing the Torah, Donna and Peter Tom Ford, Grandma Lynn and Grandpa Bob Levine. In Kamocha, Elohim Adonai, Vain Kemasecha, Malchutecha, Malchut Kololamim, Umem Shatecha, Beholdor Vador, Adonai Melech, Adonai Malach, Adonai Imloch Leolam Vaed. Adonai oz lamo yitain, Adonai yivarech et amo vashalom. We also invite to join us on the Bima for the honor of passing the Torah, Joy and Joel Schneck, Mom, Mom Gail and Pop Pop Stanley Pearson, Grandma Terry and Grandpa Barry Schneck. Av harachamim, Etiva vilzon ha et sion. Tivne homot Yerushalayim. Tivne homot Yerushalayim. Ki vecha levad batachnu. Melech el ram venisa. Adon Olamim. Friends, we invite to the Bima for the honor of opening the ark, Uncle Rick and Aunt Karen Tom Ford, Aunt Lynn Tom Ford, and Cousin Max Levine. We rise together. Carson and Carly, here stands before you two Sifrei Torah, two of the scrolls of our people. As the two of you know, the same words that are written on the scrolls that will pass through your family's arms into your arms, same exact words that are written on the Torah that remains in the ark, and in fact, the same words written on every Sefer Torah that is read throughout the world on this Shabbat morning. So in a beautiful way, these two scrolls connect each of you to Jews throughout the world, and in fact, to the generations of our people going all the way back to Sinai. For we are told according to our tradition that something awesome happened at that mountain and that we are blessed that Moses comes away with the words of Torah to pass to Joshua, Joshua to the prophets and the prophets to the members of the great assembly, the rabbis of old. 
But in the end, we are told that the obligation of passing Torah is vishinantam levanecha, and you shall pass these words to your children. And that is why we symbolically return to the mountain and that we pass the Torah through the arms of your grandparents to the arms of their children, and from the arms of your mom and dad to the arms of their son and daughter. It is our hope and prayer that the words of Torah will always be inscribed upon your hearts and that they will guide you on a path filled with righteousness, with faith, and with blessing each and every day. Amen. of our people's life from Sinai until now. Its teaching is love and justice, goodness and hope. Freedom is a gift to all who treasure it. Baruch Shenatan Torah Torah Baruch Shenatan Torah Torah Lemo Yisrael Bikdushato Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Echad Eloheinu Gadol Adonainu Kadol Shemo Kadol Adonai Iti Unirumema Shemo Yachtav Lecha Adonai Hagedula Vehagevora Vehatiferet Vehanetzach Vehavod Ki Chol Bashamayim Uvaretz Ki Chol Bashamayim Uvaretz Lecha Adonai Hamamlacha Vehamit Nase Lechol Please be seated. My Torah portion is Mitzorah from the book of Leviticus. This parasha is about people becoming impure when they develop a nasty skin disease, such as leprosy. It also includes a ritual of quarantine and purification. I am interested in the ways these impurities were caused and how our response to them reflects the values of the Jewish people. Many rabbis believe that these impurities were caused by gossip, mean words and actions, as well as hateful thoughts. This is God's way of showing the Israelites how much their hurtful actions can also hurt themselves. In a later portion of Torah, Miriam contracted leprosy because she talked about Moses' wife negatively behind her back. This shows no one is perfect, not even Moses' sister, not even the prophets. We all slip up, gossip, think hateful thoughts, lie and cheat. Becoming impure and having to go into quarantine can also make an example out of the Israelites' actions and help them to do better in the future. 
The consequences of becoming impure are having to go to quarantine and going through the ritual of purification. In quarantine, it is less about letting the rest of the camp from catching your disease. More so, it is about becoming impure and having time to think about the wrong actions or words. The people in quarantine were feeling physical pain from their diseases, similar to the mental and emotional pain they inflicted on others. Feeling the pain of being sick enhanced the understanding of how much their words or actions hurt. The purification ritual was also less about curing the disease and more so was about how the Israelites had a chance to do better and come back into the camp and make amends. Everyone deserves a second chance when they slip up. This relates to modern day because we could post or text something that could be hurtful and we won't be able to see the reaction of the person we hurt. Diseases can sometimes be cured or treated, but our words can leave a permanent impact on someone's feelings. <clears throat> also, words and pictures we post can be deleted, but you don't know who can screenshot your post or text or who can access it from the iCloud. Our actions and words have consequences, but it doesn't have to end there. You can always make it right again. Apologizing, making amends, and paying for your damage are great ways to consider doing better in the future. Reflecting on your wrong actions and thinking of ways to learn from your mistakes are great ways to move on and make things right. Baruch Adonai Hamvorach Le'olam Ba'ed Baruch Adonai Hamvorach Le'olam Ba'ed Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam Asher Baharbanu Mikol Ha'amim Benatan Lanu Et Torah To Baruch Ata Adonai Noten HaTorah Amen Ba'edaber Adonai El Moshe Le'mor Zo tihye Torah Hamitsura Beyom Tahorato Behuva El Hakohain Vitsiva Hakohain El Mihuts Lamahane Vera Ah Hakohain Vehine Yerpa Negahatsara at Mihasarua Vitsiva Hakohain Velaka Lamita Hair Shaitsi Purim Hayot Tehorot the eights eres ushni tola at the azov. Vitsiva hakohain ve shaha et hatsipor ha hat el kli heres amaim haim. Et hatsipor ha haya ikah ota ve eights ha eres ve chene tola at ve ha azov. Ve taval otam ve et hatsipor ha haya. Bedam Hatsipur Hashita Al Hamaim Hahaim Behiza Al Hamita Hair Min Hatsara at Sheva Pamim Beti Haro Feshi La Et Hatsipur Hahaya Al Pene Hasa De Baruchata Adonai Elohim Yumel Halam Asher natan lanu torat emet v'haye olam nata b'tohenu baruch atah adonai noten haTorah. Amen. My Torah portion, Mitzorah, found in the book of Leviticus, discusses the main subject of a disease which can be translated as leprosy, which causes ritual impurity. My Torah portion deals with two different kinds of leprosy, one that affects humans and one that affects homes. 
The leprosy that affects homes looks like green or red lines marked deeply on the walls. I think that these homes may have been affected by mold. The Torah tells, a, the Torah tells us that the different colors can make the house impure and it can no longer function as a normal house. If it becomes really bad, then the people living in the house will have to move out and they will have to knock down the house. This topic may sound gross, but it sparked my interest because it caused it could impact a family in a very meaningful way. Now you might ask, why are these houses considered impure, or why was it dangerous to live there, and what was at stake for the homeowners? Well, I have some ideas for answers. I think that the houses were considered impure because there was mold on the walls, and a house with mold is not a safe or healthy place to live. If the conditions were not good, the family would probably have to move out of the house. The homeowners might even have to knock down the house. Think about that. This situation could end up leaving some families homeless. Homelessness is a big pro problem, even today. Some people are scared or uncomfortable when they see someone who is homeless. Some people are mad and blame the homeless for their situation, but I feel bad when I see someone without a home. It saddens me when I think that the people are without a home. Homeless provide protection against the cold or bad weather, provides a place to sleep, and provides a safe place from the outside world. Homelessness is often connected to poverty and hunger as well. My Torah portion shows how homelessness may not be anyone's fault, in the case of a house in bad condition, it could be bad luck or the family stuck in a bad situation. That is no one's fault. There are some things that we could do to help the homeless. We could donate money or other necessities. We could support organizations that help the homeless. We can advocate for affordable housing in our towns, or we could help the homeless by taking them to work. My Torah portion reminds me that homelessness is not just a faraway problem, but even in our communities. We have a job to help and take action. I hope that I'll be able to make a difference as I become a Jewish adult today. Baruch et Adonai Habarach. Baruch Adonai Habarach Lulam Ba'ed. Baruch Adonai Habarach Lulam Ba'ed. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam Asher Bahar Banu Mikol Ha'amin Ben Atam Lanu Et Torato. Baruch Ata Adonai Noten HaTorah. Amen. Shav Hakohain, Bayom Hashvi, Vera Ah, Vehi Ne, Hasa Hanega, Viki wrote Habai, Vitiva Hakohain, Yehotu, Ehabanim, Aher, Asher, Vehain, Hanaga, Vihi Slihu, Eham, Elmihu, Slair, Elmakom, Tame, Vehabai, Yaksia, Nibai, Savi, Bishofo Ahafar Asher Hiksu El Mihut Lair El Makom Tame Bilaku Avanim Ahero Behaviu El Tahat Havanim Bafar Aher Yika Betah Ehabai Baruch Ata Adonai, Eloheinu Melech Olam, Asher Natan Lanu Torah Emet, Vehaye Olam Natan Betochinu, Baruch Ata Adonai, Noten HaTorah. Amen. Friends, we invite to the Bima for the honor of dressing the Torah, Aunt Susan Pearson and Aunt Margie Levine, and for the honor of holding the Torah, Uncle Greg Pearson and Uncle Alan Levine.
As we prepare for the ritual of lifting and dressing the Torah, let us first allow the Torah to remain unfurled before mm -hmm. us to remind us to open our hearts and our minds just a little wider as we prepare to offer a blessing on behalf of all who are ill. If there is anyone in your heart on this Shabbat morning for whom you pray for healing, healing of body, of spirit, or of mind, we invite you as we make our way through the congregation, if you wish to say their name aloud, that we may join you in prayer. Yosef Moshe Ben Hirsch Vehinda. To those names that have already been shared, we add Megan Mary DePero, Rhoda Schwartz, Arlene Grable, Donald Malaski, Teddy Malaski, Nathan Hecker, Jeff Stoller, Phil Jarvis, Marilyn Fessel, Claire Meyer, Linda Grunbaum, Howard Rosenblatt, Dolores Rosenblatt. Allison Stadius, Pamela White, William Jack Sola, Tom Tom Ford, Judy Tom Ford, Jan Gill. A bracha, the prayer for healing, is found on page 253. As we invite you to please join with us. Friends, we rise together. Vezot ha Torah, sher sam Moshe, livne vene Yisrael al pi Adonai, beyad Moshe.
Please be seated. Friends, the brachot for the chanting of Haftarah are found on page 254. Both Carson and Carly will be chanting the Haftarah from the second book of Kings. Again, the blessings, page 254. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Bahar Inviim Tolim Beratzah Vedibrehem Hanemarim Be'emet Baruch atah Adonai Haboher Baturah Umoshe Abdo Uvisrael Amo we are Anashim Hayu Mitzrayim Petach Hashar Bayomru Ish El Rehu Ma Anachnu Yashvim Po Atmatnu Im Amarnu Navo Hayir Vihara Bayir Vamatnu Sham the im yashav nu fo va ma nu veata lechu veni pla el machane aram im yechayu nu ni ye the im yumitu nu va ma nu va va yakumu va neshef lavo el machane aram va yavo Ad kitze machane aram vehine in sham ish vadonai hishmiya et mahane aram korehev kosus kohail gado vayomru ish el ahi hine zahar alenu Melech Israel et malhe hahitim ve et malhe mitraim lavo alenu. Baruch ata Adonai elenu melech haolam sor kohola mim sadik veho hadarot ha el hane eman haomer veose hamda ber umkaye shekol debra emet vatsedek al hatora ve havada. The Hanvim, the Yom Hashavat Haze, Shenatatala nu Adonai Eloheinu, Likdusha Vlimnucha, Lechavod Ultifaret, Al Hako, Adonai Eloheinu, Anachnu Modim La, Umarhim Ota, Yiparak Shim Ha, the Fiko Hai Tami Lelamba Ed, Barakata Adonai, Mekadesh Hashabat. There it is. Into our hands, O oh God, you have placed your Torah to be held high by parents and children and taught by one generation to the next. Whatever has befallen us, our people have remained steadfast in loyalty to the Torah. 
It was carried in the arms of parents that their children might not be deprived of their birthright. And now we pray that you, Carson, may always be worthy of this inheritance. Take its teaching into your heart and in turn pass it on to your children and those who come after you. May you be a faithful Jew, searching for wisdom and truth, working for justice and peace. May the one who has always been our guide inspire you to bring honor to your family and to the house of Israel. May God bless you and keep you. May God's face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May God's face be lifted to you and may you be always blessed with peace. Mazel tov. Again, the Haftarah blessings are found on page 254. <laughs> Adonai, Havo Her Batara, Uf Moshe Avdo, Uf Yisrael Amo, Uf Invie Ha Emet Vat Sedek. Vayavo U Hamitsor Im Ha Ele, Ad Kitse Hamahane. Vayavo El Ochel Ehad. Vayoflu, vayish tu, vayisu misham, kesa vezahav, uvigadim, vayalhu, vayaminu, vayashuvu, vayavo el ochel aher, vayisu misham, vayalhu, vayaminu, vayimru, ish el rehu, lohain, anachnu, osi. Ha Hayom Haze Yom Besora Hu Vanachnu Machshim Behikinu Avon Velagidu Beit Hamela Vayavo Vaikreu El Shuer Hair Beyagidu Lahem Lemor Banu El Mahane Aram Behine Ain Sham Ish the co adam ki im hasus asor, the hahamor asor, the ohalim kasher hema. Baruch ata harunai elohenu, melahalam, sor koholamin, sadik beho haro, ha el haneman, ha omer vil se, hamdaber um kayem, shekhoda rav, and met vad said. Al ha Torah, ve al havoda, ve al hanvin, ve al yom hashabat hazeh. Shenatat hamanu, Adonai Eloheinu, liktu shavli nuha, le havod ul tifare. Al ha kol, Adonai Eloheinu, anach nu modim la, um varchim ota, yeparashim ha, befi kol hai tamid le lam vaed. Barachata Adonai, mekadesh hashabat.
Our hearts are one on this joyous day as you, Carly, commit yourself to a life of Torah, a life we pray filled with wisdom, caring, and righteous action. We pray that you will grow each day in compassion for the needy, in concern for the stranger, in love of all people. May the one who blessed our ancestors, Abraham and Sarah, Isaac and Rebecca, Jacob and Rachel and Leah, bless you as you join generations of B'nai Mitzvah here at Beth Haim. May you grow with strength and courage, with vision and sensitivity, and may you always be certain of our love. Mazel Tov. May God bless you and keep you. Yaer Adonai panav elecha vichuneka. May God's face be lifted to you and be gracious to you. Yisa Adonai panav elecha v'yasem lecha shalom. May God's face be lifted to you and may you always be blessed with peace. And together we say, Amen. All right, gang, let's go on a walk. It's a rite of passage. <laughs> Carly, if you would come on this side, because I want to make sure your immediate family can see that smile. And he who smiles every now and then, if you would be right there. <laughs> I have to tell you something. Because I have the pleasure and honor of working with Rabbi Blum and with Cantor Binder, who have been with you all for five and 29 years, the two of them, and being that I'm the new kid in town, I get to have the privilege of sitting in the congregation because I want to see the bar and bat mitzvah like you see the bar and bat mitzvah. I want to get to see that moment when you are you and you get to bring the gifts of who you are to others. And sitting behind you doesn't give me quite the same view. And I was so looking forward to this Shabbat in particular because of who the two of you are. And I have no idea who decided that you would become B'nai Mitzvah on the same date years and years ago when you were still too young to really know who you would become, but it was a brilliant pairing. Brilliant because on one hand, the two of you have a lot in common. And yet, on the other hand, your strengths and personalities couldn't be more different and yet complementary. So I'll give you an example. For those of you who may know one or the other, but not both, I have before you two superior athletes. Superior athletes in their own right. And yet the way you go about your sports and the sport you've chosen is so indicative of your individual personalities, which in a lot of ways are different. So you, Miss Carly, although you have chosen soccer and softball and basketball, your real sport is swimming. And for those of you who know swimming either intimately or from afar, swimming is one of those sports where you have to be absolutely consistent all the time. You can't get too crazy and too energetic in the beginning of a race because then you lose what you need at the end. On the other hand, you have to be so steady throughout the race that you have a little bit at the end, but you can't exactly go crazy because of what's left in the tank. And that's exactly your personality and the way you've gone about preparing for this day. From the very beginning, measured and calm and doing what you needed to do so that when you got to this day, you could absolutely produce your best. And that's exactly what you did with such beautiful 
not only technical skills, but the passion that you bring to what you do in a reserved way much of the time, but so beautiful that you brought such great honor, not only upon mom and dad, but upon your entire family and congregation and your teachers, superbly done in Carly's way. And then there's you, my friend. <laughs> your sport, it's all about basketball. And the thing about basketball, for many of you who know it in intimately or from afar, it's absolutely a game of ebbs and flows. If you run your absolute hardest from the moment of tip off till the end of the game, by the end of the game, you can't move. You can't be there when you're needed. You need to be able to reserve, but really, really, when it's time, step up. And that's exactly how you've gone about your studies. Because in the beginning, you were saving your energy. <laughs> and those of you who served as your fans were sitting there wondering if you were ever going to stop saving your energy. And then that moment came. Not at the very end, but when it really counts. You know, the, the last two minutes of the game where you have to be there, where you have to do everything possible, not only for your own individual play, but for the team. And when the moment came for you to take that three-pointer, there you were, and there you executed, and you did everything you needed to do to get to today to lead with that same technical skill and perfection in your own way, with the occasional smile. <laughs> but I'd like to think with that self-confidence of being secure in who you are and what you needed to do to be your absolutely best. And in that same way, you brought beautiful honor upon your mom and dad, your grandparents, your entire family and friends, and your teachers. Because in your way, you led us so beautifully and so inspiring, did everything you needed to do and more. The two of you share lots of other beautiful similarities, and they come large in part from your mom and dad and for the values and ideals that I know their parents raised them with. Because you both come from families that are all about their children. They go about demonstrating how to focus on who their children are. Very different styles. But both sets of your parents understand what it means to pass Torah from the generations past to their children. They understand what it means to impart the best of the ideals and values that they have to offer and how beautifully through your service projects and how you go about life, you have shown and demonstrated that even at age 13, what you have to bring to the table comes from them and that you, in a beautiful way, find your way to make a difference in the world around you. You have brought great honor to all and worthy of the highest praise and blessing. The question, of course, becomes, now what? Because if today is the end, it's a nice party, but we don't get to understand what this and everything about it was about. Because becoming bar mitzvah, becoming bat mitzvah, making that transition from the age of minority to the age of majority is all about what's to come from here. For as we learned in our studies together only if you step up, only if you're present, only if you bring that passion and that knowledge that you have acquired along the way and bring it to the community and bring it to your families and bring it to the world around you, only then does today become transformative. Today becomes the first day of the rest of your life as active, educated Jews. And I know that our people is well served by both of you. I know that you'll be there. 
I know that you'll make a difference. And I know that you will always be an Orla Goyim, a light into the nations around you. So Mazel Tov. I look forward to seeing you around the hood, so to speak. <laughs> and for all that comes before you, it'll be exciting for me to at least be part of it for a while and to watch who you will become and continue to become each and every day of your lives. Mazel tov. <laughs> and now you can go back up there. <laughs> Shabbat shalom. We call to the Bima to open the ark. Aunt Melissa and Uncle Corey Fleischman, Aunt Stephanie and Uncle David Levinson. And to march with our Torah scrolls, we call to the Bima Uncle Ken Schneck and Ben Tom Ford. We rise as we continue on page 256. Yehallelu et shem Adonai, ki niskav shemo levado, hodo al eretz v'shamayim, v'yarem keren l'amo, t'ila lechol chasidav l'ibne Yisrael am kerovo, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Romemu Adonai Eloheinu veshtachavu lehar kodesho. Romemu Adonai Eloheinu veshtachavu lehar kodesho. Ki, ki, ki kadosh Adonai Eloheinu romemu. Ki, ki, ki kadosh Adonai Eloheinu romemu. Romemu Adonai Eloheinu veshtachavu lehar kodesho. Romemu Adonai Eloheinu veshtachavu lehar kodesho. Al shlosha devarim, al shlosha devarim. Al shlosha, shlosha devarim haolam, haolam omed. Al shlosha devarim, al shlosha devarim. Al shlosha, shlosha devarim haolam, haolam omed. Al la Torah ve al havoda ve al gemilut chasadim. Al la Torah ve al havoda. Al gemilut chasadim, al shlosha devarim, al shlosha devarim, al shlosha shlosha devarim, haolam haolam omed, al shlosha devarim, al shlosha devarim, al shlosha shlosha devarim, haolam. Page 257. God's Torah is perfect, reviving the soul. God's teaching is sure, making wise the simple. God's precepts are right, delighting the mind. God's mitzvot are clear, giving light to the eyes. God's word is pure, enduring forever. God's judgments are true and altogether just. Ilekachtov natati lachem, Torati altazovu, Etz chaim ilamachazikim ba, Vetomeche ha meushar, Terache ha darche nam, Vecholetivoteha. Shalom, Ashivenu Adonai, Elecha v'nashova, Chadesh, Chadesh yamenu, Chadesh.
chameinu kekedem. Please be seated. I now have the pleasure of calling Debbie Zions to the Bima to present the B'nai Mitzvah with their gifts from Congregation Beth Hayim. Shabbat Shalom, Carly and Carson. What beautiful karma <laughs> brought Carly and Carson together, as Rabbi Biel said, who is not up there. Okay. It is my absolute joy to represent the Beth Chaim Sisterhood, Men's Club, and Board of Directors as I stand here with both of you this beautiful Shabbat morning. Every person here this morning is more fulfilled in some special way because of the service you two led this morning and the words of Torah you studied and taught us. Because of the people who love and like you both so much, you supplied a huge congregation who assembled in prayer and spirituality this morning. I'll bet when you met as three-year-olds, you didn't realize that the 10 years you'd spend in sweat and friendship in this building would result in so much ability on your parts or the true beginning of your Jewish adulthoods. Not to mention you rocked the confidence and maturity so hard today, which is really rare in 13-year-olds. Mm -hmm. I can easily now picture both of you in leadership roles in the present and the future, in both the Jewish community, maybe through confirmation in 10th grade, and even in your schools, and even in your professions later on. Just a little bit for Carly, okay, for just one second, but I will get back to you. <laughs> Carly, the day we met eight years ago in McCaffrey's, <laughs> Your mom asked me to sing some cantorial music for you right in the middle of the produce aisle. <laughs> and she told you that I was a cantor, just like Cantor Binder from Beth Chaim. Um, you were so interested in music. Yes, I am. <laughs> you were so mu interested in music even then and in Judaism. And that day was the beginning of two of the most special relationships and friendships in my life, mine with your mom and mine with you. And I love you. This is right there. I love you, Carly. And I know how incredibly blessed I am um, to have such an intelligent, sensitive, caring, funny, beautiful young woman to count among the most special people in my life. Um, mazel tov to both of you today on your leadership and worship abilities. May you use these gifts <laughs> um, from the Temple family in good health with your families and friends. And may you always remember this very special Shabbat in your lives. Mazel Tov. <clears throat> to become the name Mitzvah means a lot. To me, it means I'm accomplished as a Jew. I've done what I needed to do, and now I'm an adult and ready to continue in life. Becoming a bar mitzvah really taught me a lot of things. It taught me about problems in the real world, and it taught me about responsibilities. 
I have accomplished what I need to do to begin my journey as a Jewish adult. In my preparation for becoming Bar Mitzvah, I have gone through an, enorm an enormous amount of preparation and practice. First, I began with Hebrew school, when in second grade I learned the Hebrew alphabet. I continued on and learned many songs and prayers. I also practiced at home to learn prayers, some of which were very new to me, and I tried to perfect the ones that I knew and did not know. I participated in both private and group lessons where I learned about my Torah portion and learned about the prayers that I would be chanting today. My mitzvah project was a big part of my bar mitzvah. I sent out, with the help of my parents, a March Madness bracket to raise money for an organization called Good Sports. Good Sports is an organization that will provide brand new equipment, apparel, and footwear to those in need for a specific sport of your choice. I chose basketball. From the monies I raised, I will be able to provide 30 pairs of sneakers, 20 uniforms, and 30 basketballs to those in need. Thank you, Rabbi Beal, Rabbi Blum, and Cantor Binder for helping me learn my Torah portion and my prayers. Thank you, Ann Berman Waldorf, for helping me prepare for today. Thank you to my Hebrew teachers for teaching me the simple things that led to this important day and to the future. Thank you, Mom and Dad, for listening to me go through my prayers and strongly encouraging me to get through this day. Thank you, Jessica, for your cooperation over the last couple of months. I promise to make sure I will be there for, to help you when it is your turn. Thank you to all of my family and friends for coming to see me on the Bima and helping me celebrate this special day. Thank you, Sisterhood, Men's Club, and the congregation for your thoughtful g gifts. And to Carly Mazel Tov. To me, being a bat mitzvah means that I'm able to use my Jewish knowledge and make an impact on the world. Community service as a Jewish adult is my way to make the world a better place. Helping people and animals makes me feel like I made an impact on the world. I would like to continue building my Jewish identity through big T events and additional Jewish studies. The preparation for my bat mitzvah was long, and there was lots of practicing, private lessons, and group tutoring for my for my mitzvah project, I am conducting a toiletry drive in school and at my house for Homefront, which helps people in need. I, cho I chose to do Homefront for my project because I attended an event there earlier in the year, and it made me sad when the staff talked about how much they needed toiletries. If anyone would like to donate, please email me, and I will pick up your donations. My parents were with me every step of the way, from when I was born to, to today, and we shared so many meaningful Jewish experiences, from going to services, to helping me create my Shabbat box in second grade, to just eating challah on a Friday night. Mom, Dad, thank you for everything. I love you so much. Ben was always there for me when I needed him as the best big bro I could ask for. My Hebrew school teachers who taught me the all of Ben and how to read Hebrew as the building blocks I needed to shine on this special day. I am grateful for Cantor Binder, Rabbi Blum, Rabbi Beal, and Ann Berman Waldorf for teaching me all of my prayers, Torah, Haf Torah, and supporting me on this special day. Thank you everyone for coming to share this special day with me. Thank you to the Sisterhood, the Men's Club, and the congregation for their fantastic gifts. Mazel tov to Carson. It was awesome to share this special day with you, and I thought your bracket pool was a really creative mental project. Mm -hmm. Lastly, I would like to thank my grandpa Bob for helping me write and practice my speeches, as well as getting me this awesome tally. We now get to call up two very special people, maybe the people closest to you in your life, whether you like to admit it out loud or not. Ben and Jessica, if you'll come and help us open the ark. Our service continues on the bottom of 282 as we all rise together. Oh, 
Eloheinu, Enod, Emmet Malkeinu, Ephesulato, Kakatu, Betorato, Veadata Hayom, Vashevota, Elevavecha, Ki Adonai, Hua Elohim, Vashamai, Mimar, Veal Haaretz, Mitachat, Enod. Venemar ve'ayadonai l'melech al-kol ha'aretz Bayom ha'hu, bayom ha'hu yeh Adonai echad U'shemo, u'shemo, u'shemo echad We turn to page 294 for Kaddish Yatom, Mourner's Kaddish as we remember those we have lost at this time in years past, and we honor the following yard sites this Shabbat. Jean Arbeiter, Anne Francis Konevsky, Lorraine Cohen, Fanny Zuckerman, Ruth Berman, Jeanette Bloom, Ilsa Shapira, Etta Gordon, Adele Feldstein, Ava Cohen, Melvin Seifer, Flor Maria Safe, Arnie Goldstein, Joseph Rindler, Elliot Ross, Francis Hochberg, Sid Hoffing, Evelyn Kerinsky, Raymond Snyder, Ida Kaplowitz, Sam Litwin, Louis Polovsky, Sanford Newman, Paul Tandler, Lisa, Lisa Parab, Zelig Parab, Alex Aya, Anita Sheff, Dorothy Greenbaum, Grace Swartz Arna, Jack Horowitz, Allison Hamilton, Nathan Sukieknik, Hyman Sachs, Joseph Nathanson, George Otis, Bill Mayer, Leba Miller, Florence Gerson, Gertrude Durlacher, Lillian Connor, Jack Hassawar, William Karp, Ida Cohen, Edith Hyman, Molly Blumberg, Louis Latkin, Francis Shartok, Lydia Podorowski, Sidney Gerhart, Helene Shames, Mildred Kempler, Sadie Klein, Warren Cross, Abraham Lacker, Mitzi Berwick, Haskell Haight, Jack Pearl, Hyman Pograb, Harry Roberts, Harold Dean, Esther Schwartz, Lloyd Sarfati, Rose Vinicor, Helen Pruden, Jerome Pruden, Eileen Stoller, Morton Carlin, Sheldon Sabbath, Julia Consavoy, Francis Glick, Abraham Cohen, Irving Greenberg, Betty Husak, Joseph Gelfand, Robert Knoll, Alpha Berkowitz Drescher, and Jack Luxman. And we're in the period of Shloshim, the 30 days of mourning for Anne Schmaltz, mother of Lois Miller, Eileen Davidson, mother of Donna Zeller, and Samantha Josephson, daughter of Marcy and Seymour. And we're in the period of Shiva, the first seven days of mourning for Jean Pucciati, mother of Joe Pucciati, and Erwin Markman, grandfather of Jeremy Kaber. For all those and many more that we remember, we recite together on 294. Yit gadal, v'yit kadash, shemei rabah, b'yalma divra chirute, v'yam lich malchute, v'chayechon uv'yomechon, v'chaye d'chol b'yit Yisrael, v'agala uv'izman kari v'imru, amen. Yehe Shime Raba Mivarach Leolam Ulame Al Maya Yit Barach, the Ishtabach, the Ipar, the Romam, the Nase, the Yitadar, the Yitale, the Yitala, Shime de Kudisha, Brihu, the Ela Minko, Birhata, Vishirata, Tush Behata, Venehemata, Damiran Biama, Vimru, Amen. Yehe Shlama Raba Min Shemaya. Bechaim alinu ve'al kol Yisrael v'imru amen. Ose shalom v'imramav. Hu ya'ase shalom alinu ve'al kol Yisrael 
Imu Amin. Zichronam Libracha, may their memories always be for a blessing. Please be seated. All right, leave your things, come with me. We've made it to the end. You have earned our fruit of the vine, our symbol of joy, and our challah, our sustenance. After the closing benediction, we'll ask everyone who's here to celebrate with the Tom Ford family. You're gonna head to the social hall out those doors by the stained glass window. And if you're here to celebrate the Schneck family, you're gonna head to the multi-purpose room as you go out those doors. Tom Ford, Schneck. <laughs> You all right? Okay. Got nervous? <laughs> all right, Kanner. Al kein berach Adonai et yom ha-shabbat va-yikadashehu Baruch at Adonai Eloheinu melech ha-olam Bore pri ha-gafen All right, if you'll each take one and give one to Cantor Binder and one to Dan Valentine, then come back for your own. One for each of you. Oh, Lachayim. And if you two will hold each hold an end, fantastic. Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech Haolam Hamotzi Lechem Min Haaretz. Carly and Carson, Mazel Tov and all you've accomplished today, but we're so excited to see what you do next. May you gain strength from our community and from your hard work, and may you always go from strength to strength going forward. Mazel Tov, Shabbat Shalom, everyone.